Billy Thomas from jazzeveryone.com. I'm here to tell you about my lessons that can help you become the player you've always wanted to be. It starts with a free lesson that introduces the basic concepts of my special jazz language system. After you have carefully worked through the free lessons, you're ready to start playing and learning to apply these basic jazz language concepts to a variety of traditional jazz standards. Here's an overview of the six-pack lessons. In lesson one, jazz vocabulary is expanded by adding a major or minor third to the pentatonic pairs introduced in the free lesson. For your information, all of the materials and music tracks presented in each lesson can be downloaded for extended study. Hearing jazz vocabulary played and developed is an essential element in becoming a real jazz player. Here are some sounds from a slow F blues in lesson one. A one, two, three, four. Listening to these patterns and imitating them as you play is one of the best ways to eventually own this vocabulary. Here's an example of how this works. pairs create simple two-note melodies through the 2-5-1 chord changes. Here's how they sound and trailing on, a little tune I wrote for lesson two. Four. pairs you see on the board are chromatically embellished in lesson three. Learning how to play and apply these four chromatic rotations is a major step in developing your jazz vocabulary. play what you hear, each lesson ends with a few rounds of call and response. Here's a little ear training exercise from lesson three. four various combinations of the five pentatonic pairs formed in a Dorian minor scale provides almost unlimited creative potential. Here's a few notes from Simplicitude, a 32 bar tune with two Dorian scales. The rhythm drill you see on the board plays an active role in developing and controlling new vocabulary. These are important parts of each lesson. Four. The embellished 
pentatonic pairs on the board are connected with chromatic half steps to form the upper part of the bebop scale in lesson five. This creates the potential to play longer patterns through the chord changes. Here's a few examples from lesson five. are front and center in lesson five. Here's what can happen when you own this vocabulary. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Charlie Parker heard and played melodies formed on upper chord tones in a tune, Bebop was born. The pentatonic pairs you see on the board are used in lesson six to set up and locate two important bebop licks formed on the seventh of the dominant chord and the seventh of a major chord. Here's how they sound. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> overview should help you understand the work ahead. Once you understand the language system and get the pentatonic pairs in your ear and under your fingers, you can quickly play any tune. The pentatonic pairs are also a key in learning to play and apply the diminished and half diminished vocabulary introduced in more advanced lessons. Here's a little taste of how you'll sound after some work with the diminished lessons. One, two, three, four. <laughs> that shed, click the six-pack link, and get busy. <laughs> 